Everybody say hi to the folks at home. Howdy. Hello, hello, hello. I didn't turn you on. Whoopee! My car director really turns me on. Okay. So, while we were doing this, so do some of that at home. Turn off the video and do some of this at home. Okay, now turn it back on and here we go. Uh, <laughs> would you uh, turn to your left and give your neighbor a massage if they would like? <laughs> And turn around and get revenge. Okay, your posture starts with your feet. Remember behind your big toe and your pinky toe, they're in the ball of your foot and your heels, that's where you want your weight, on those three points. You don't want to be on the outside of the foot or the inside of the foot or just back on your heels. Get it equally placed on both of those. Then your knees should be above your ankles and your hips above your knees. A tall pelvis, okay? Shoulders above your hips. And as much space as possible between your AO joint and your hips. Is that feeling of kind of levitating. Not, never, ever, ever stiffness. stiffness. Uh, we're just going to do a little bit of this shoulder rotation here. I would bet that most of you are like me, and especially when you're in your car, you find yourself sitting like this. Okay? Oh, and especially maybe your head pushed forward, so just get it back and open up the pectorals and just open up the singer's <clears throat> instrument. Instrument, yes, the singer's instrument. Well put. All righty. Woo! Woo! Would you put your hand on your forehead and hum and chew in a high range? Move your jaw, move your jaw. Okay, keep the resonance high and forward and spacious, but move to the middle of your range. And keep the spacious, high forward resonance, move to the bottom of your register. Now keep going, but put that resonance way in the back of your head. Okay, now move it forward again. Okay, how many of you felt like you uh, did a decrescendo when you moved the resonance back? Okay, most of you felt like you were giving the same amount of energy, right? <coughs> the dynamic in the room dropped by one dynamic level, from a, like a mezzo piano to a piano, just by changing the resonance. If you keep the resonance high and forward and spacious, you don't have to work as hard to make a big gorgeous sound, which you guys are good at anyway. Ah, good. Hey! Hey! Number two, please, Mrs. Uncle. And what I would like you to do is pretend you got a beach ball, now just listen to me, don't sing. No, 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 no. And we're gonna hold the beach ball in all kinds of different ways. But as I crescendo, my beach ball is gonna get bigger. And as I decrescendo, my beach ball is gonna get smaller. And yours is too. <coughs> beach ball.
The royal warm up. <laughs> Be sure that when you bow, not that the queen would bow to us, but we get to be both parts. We're the queen or the king, and then we're the loyal subjects. But when you bow, please let the back curve and bend your knees. Do not do one of these things. You know, I'm not out to stretch your hamstrings or give you a backache, so. <laughs> switching it up on you, okay? So sometimes I'm going to go like this, so then it turns into so the difference between marcato and 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 uh, legato, okay? So you just watch whatever I do. That's what you have to reproduce vocally. And You've already done it once and done it better than any of the groups I work with. Do we start counting the 17 after the first number? No. Good question. 
the first four beats are one through four, then the next silent beat is five. Six, and so five through 16 is silent, and 17 is no. And you get no cue from me. I'll just help you with the first four beats, and then keep that tempo in your head. Watching Julie's left toe. <laughs> Dan was. That was that was stunning. <laughs> Cherry Creek did that about six or eight times before they got even close, and they still weren't together. You guys were just like, boom! Wow. Okay, we haven't had a chance to do any of these yet this year, so let's let's do them. Uh, could I have, um, oh, let's give them an A. A. <laughs> give them a B. B. Give them a C. C. What does it spell? <laughs> May I have the pitch oh. A on the piano? <laughs> Now, you're going to just sing on ooh, continuously. Ooh. Keep singing. Keep, breathe and keep singing. I'm going to talk over the top of you. You just keep singing, okay? Until I finally cut you off. I would like the sopranos and altos to go down a step. And go back home. up one whole step, and back home. Okay, now I want you to do your move at the same time. So you're down, and you're up. Go. There you found it, and go back home. Keep singing, keep breathing. Tenors and basses down a half step. down a whole step. If you think do to T, that's a half step. Try it again, tenors and basses. And back home. Sopranos and altos up a half step. Back home. Okay, you know your move. Do it at the same time. Go. Remember this first few lines up until cuz, we're going to sing for them. And then we'll invite them to join us on Happy Day. Some of you know it, some of you don't. Just gradually pick it up. And we're going to do it in tempo. Ready, in. Just support them. 
This, this finds out if I know the damn thing. <laughs> Go long bad times. Go long bad times. We are rid of you at last. We are rid of you at last. That goes higher than I want it to. You know? And then, howdy gay times. Howdy gay times. Cloudy gray times. Cloudy gray times. That one's a bit of a surprise. And then, you are now, you are now a thing of the past. You are now a thing of the past. Okay, let's take it from the beginning. And. trumpet and she was had to stop several times and say put that away she kept getting it out and he hadn't really had a lesson on it yet so she was afraid of him breaking the thing I remember when we got ours uh, we were strictly told do not take this out of the case until your first meeting with your director I wonder how many kids actually did that I have no idea what I did I think I might have opened it and looked at it and drooled on it a little bit. It was a trombone. Oh, I see what you're doing. <laughs> Pete, Pete, Pete. Steve is taking pictures, and Chris is over here giving bunny ears to Bonnie. Well, he's getting revenge for last time. Uh, here we go.
a couple little things. At the top of page 10, there is no dynamic marking. I would like it to continue with the double forte that you're doing on page nine. So would you write in two, two lowercase f's there? So you stay big, you might even write, stay loud, okay? And then you came back to a mezzo forte at the pickup to 66, just fine. Um, that was very good. Uh, but I'm a little, uh, we're not quite agreeing on the rhythms there uh, in measure 67. So could we sing uh, Let the Sounds of Laughter? Um, let the sound of laughter ring all around. And I'm, I'm hearing, let the sounds of laughter ring all around. Okay, so you're kind of, um, I think what you're doing is, I think you're putting two eighth notes on beat three and putting round on beat four. So uh, say to me, Ring all around. Ring all around. Uh huh. Wait, wait even longer for a uh, of a round. Ring all around. Let, let me do it and then you do it back to me. Ring all around. Ring all around. Now you're too late. Ring all around. Ring all around. That's better. Ring all around. So the emphasis is on all and round. Ring all around. Okay? Let's sing it, starting at the pickup to 66. One and two. Let the sounds of laughter ring all around. Just like that. Just like that. Do it with the accompaniment. Uh, you're going to start, please, at the downbeat of bar 65. And circle that, okay? Circle that little spot. Um, boy, it's nice to be able to fuss at things in that teensy tiny. Could you, at the top of page eight in measure forty-seven, would you remind yourself that we're still forte? There are some times when I come back for this musical idea. I come, I've had you come way down, but there are some times when I don't want you to, so that's a place where I'd like you to keep it strong at 47. And absolutely gorgeous job at 39, coming down the mezzo piano. That was just perfect, and the crescendo was perfect. Um, at the bottom of four, could we start our crescendo uh, sooner and more intentionally, ladies. The problem with starting out with a nice, easy mezzo piano is that then we don't like to crawl out of bed <laughs> and get up and start the day because it's cozy and warm in there. Okay? Can we start at um, Let every life be filled with song at top of uh, page four, measure 11? This is just the surrounds now. So it's ready and uh. Right, and have you changed? And have you changed? Uh, the first measure at the top of page five to a whole note. Yes. Yes. I don't know why they fussed with making it a dot and a half. I think that's kind of silly. Um, that was good, but I want to be pickier. Can you not crescendo the first syllable of singing, and can you crescendo the second syllable more? Let every voice be raised in singing. It's a little more surprising that way, I think. We started that right there. Let every voice. Measure 15. 
Ready and a uh, one. <coughs> Especially for sopranos, it's not especially in a powerful place in your voice. But if you'll just make a bigger space, okay? We're gonna do this one more time. And uh, one. I saw, I didn't hear it, but I saw a few harmony. Okay? If we get too many of those, we will be back in third grade. And I don't want to go back to third grade. Although, I thought Miss Walden was very sweet. And we all thought she was very... I had a teacher in second grade whose name was Mrs. Granby. And we lived in Rand, Colorado. Do you know where Rand is? Yeah. It's between Granby and Walden. And in third grade, down if we moved to Fort Collins, so my first year in Fort Collins was third grade, and my teacher's name was Miss Walden. <laughs> and about halfway through the year, she broke all the boys' hearts because she announced she was going to be getting married. And she was young and pretty and sweet and all had a crush on her. And I remember when she announced it, there was an audible ah. <laughs> from all the boys in the room, and all the girls were like, oh boy, you know, but the boys were like, ah. you won't wait for me. <laughs> so cute. Ah, uh, let's see. Yes, yeah, so. uh, down at the bottom of five, since we're on that anyway, let happiness. Here's some S's in there, like a breath is being taken. Um, so yeah, that's a tricky spot. That's a tricky spot. Thank you. That's a tricky spot. I do want, in, in, in my tutorial, I asked for a glottal on in. So I don't want, let happiness in him. I don't want that. But you got to be careful. So make happiness as long as you can, and then with a little space, so you're going, let happiness in every home. So let, sing that with me a few times. Um, one and two. Let happiness in every home. That's good. Do it without me. Ready, go. Let happiness in every home. Yeah, yeah. Somebody's going, let happiness sin. It's let happiness in every You're going to finish the word. You know how we do eight candles in you know how we do that? It's kind of a similar thing. You gotta finish the S. And don't make a big deal out of it. Most people will know what you're saying if you say happiness. You know? You can leave the S off properly, but let happiness in and let happiness in and do it a few times with the piano. One and two. S over here. Ready, go. Now, when I told them less S, you eliminated it entirely. I need a little bit. Okay. Red. We might have a foreigner in the room who doesn't know what happy man is. Happy man is. Ready, go. And also, you would say, you would say happiness, right? You wouldn't say happiness. No. Oh, my happiness overflows. So don't <laughs> sing that. If you'll just pull away from that syllable, it'll, it happens pretty naturally. Okay? Thank you, Carol. Um, uh, that's all I had. Let's move ahead. Boy, to be able to be that fussy. Yeah. <laughs> Let's look at song for the unsung hero. And all I care about is if you launch into, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas at two minutes till two. 
or no, at, at, at 12 minutes to 2, and so we can start announcements at 10 minutes to 2. That's all I care about. Okay. Yeah. Ryan, for something. Ryan? Yeah, yeah. Can we talk about this song? A lot of us have a hard time getting through the song. We get through tears. It's hard to sing. I, I get it. I get it. Is there something we can do not to? Well, I can tell you what I did one time when I had to sing Danny Boy at, at the funeral of one of my absolute favorite people in the world. I thought, uh, now, I taught for 30 years. I could count on one hand and have fingers left over of the kids that I hated. <laughs> and the one I hated the most was the one I had my last year of teaching. And thank God... I only had to see him about six times during the year because I would go over to the other building, the primary building across the parking lot and cover some third grade every once in a while. And I hated this child. I just did, sorry. And so I thought of him the entire time I was singing this song. <laughs> and I made it through till the last note and I cracked on the last note. I, I you did. Remember that we as performers are delivering an emotional experience, but we are not, as performers, permitted to have an emotional experience, okay? We must somehow give the emotional experience without taking on too much of it. And I know that's hard, it's hard. So. Um, you're just going to have to kind of divorce yourself a little bit from some of the thoughts in it, you know? I try to just focus on the notes and the rhythm and sort of, I say the words because I know them, but I don't think about them. I think about the notes and the time. Could you all hear what Charlie was saying? Yeah. Yes. Make it more of a clinical exercise. That's a really good way to approach it. And you're more of a, a technician. Yeah. Um, that makes all the difference. That's that's what I try to do. There's so much that I've done the same thing at funerals. You're getting through. You're being a professional for someone else, and you walk off stage and have your crack, and then you can let it all out. Then um, I know that's easier said than done, and that's a good thing that you're feeling those emotions during this. It's better than just being, you know, monkeys and singing notes. Um, so, do the best you can. I, we'll, we'll try to keep whittling away at parts and making it beautiful, and then we can feel that emotion at the right time. And Chris promises not to cry. I can cry. Mm. What about right. Bonnie? And it's hard. We're on a Christmas true. list, I guess. <laughs> Especially seeing the music. Danny Boy, too, for a yeah. Yeah. Same, same yeah. thing. Yeah. I have something that will get you out of that frame of mind. The warm up. The one I learned was. Not them, not them, but me and my shoes. <laughs> I like yours better. Dee 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 dee. Me and my shoes. Okay. Sometimes it's just that warm up. It's the same as yours, just a different. Oh, not them, not them. But me and my shoes. Oh, we gotta do that. I like it. I like it. Okay, let's run through, see what you've done with your homework, and how beautiful you're going to sound.
you for that even eighth note rhythm in the middle of page five. All right, let's go to page six and do even better. Wow. Uh, dynamics are gonna make it. We, we can do this entire song in people's faces and it won't have the same effect as if we have sections that come back and come back at them. So we really need top of page six. Everyone needs to do it. We, uh, we will keep our voices strong, three beats, and there's a crescendo. Mine's in red, top of the page, you go up to a forte. But you get an eighth rest to take me back to a mezzo piano. That's hard, that's hard to remember. If yours isn't circled with all kinds of things there, make sure you make a note of it. Keep our voices strong, two, three, four, S. Remember our reflective moment saying, as long as we, the choirs of the world, the singers of the world, keep their memories alive. That's the important part, not as long as we keep doing it, but be reflective there. So you get a half measure to do that. I would like to try that. We're in this key. This is we will keep, top of six. We will keep. Okay, here we go. We're going to crescendo through it. One and two. We will keep. story right there it will still live on so we're back to a forte there okay so take it back and then bring it forward no breath after singing middle of the page yes we keep singing freedoms okay make sure what are we singing not singing freedoms okay carry that through no breath do that one more time it was so good do it again Chris, 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 yes sir uh, 55 you want us to come back down off of that forte or no no, stay there. Sing a song, stay. Because guess what? On the next page, hope yours is marked six. as the faithful. Oh, it's up here. Okay. Yeah, you get Thank another you. eighth rest to do it again. Oh, okay. Yep, here we go. Top of six. Let me hear that once more. We will keep. One and two. We will keep our voices. Here we go. There you go. Don't breathe, don't breathe. Be sure, this one we do get a decrescendo. Top of seven on the word C, we can take it down a little bit with reverence as the faithful sang before you sing this song. And there's no breath, you sing, you sing. Make sure that's marked. So we have that softer spot right at 58 that we have to take it back down. Um, there was something else and it went out of my brain and it'll come back. Okay, okay. one. Yes, sir. Um, when the ladies come in at the very beginning, they are not unanimous in their dotted eight sixteen, and then they manage to infect the gentlemen down at the bottom of the stairs who have an even eight note. You mean we will keep and sing a song? No, at the bottom of the first page. page at the two, very two, beginning. Two. Oh, 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 no, wait. All the ladies okay. are singing an even eight note. Okay, we'll go back there. Yes, I totally agree. Okay, altos. My girls, I need you at 58, top of seven, faithful. Ain't nobody else moving there, just us, right? Bring those through a little bit. If it gets too loud, I'll let you know. Um, As the faithful, faithful sang. It's softer, but I need those moving eight notes through there, okay? Let's do 55, bottom of six, through the, the section that gets soft again, okay? This is forte. Excellent. 
excellent. Okay. Now, what is is it in the same section? It's going on from there, top of page eight. Top of eight. Is there any dynamic information whatsoever on the melody? Because it feels like we are doing a not in It just needs to flow underneath the desk hand. Okay, there they've got the interesting thing going on here. Everybody knows this one, um, but don't don't think of it as a march that way. Ma, come, da 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 da, all the way through. Think beautiful phrases all the way through versus punching each note. Okay, I got that, but I'm helping them, so you're kind of on your own. If you can't hear them, take it down just a little bit. We need to make sure that desk can't comes through. Um, but I want to take it back to that second page that Brian was talking about. Page two. Page two. Let us sing. Let us sing. Is dotted, yes. And then gentlemen, choosing ah, choosing honor. Your entrance is even. Okay, ladies, pledging and guys, pledging faith. They're all over the song, all over. Am I gonna do a dotted rhythm or am I gonna do just a straight eighth note rhythm, okay? Be very careful of that. Let's do the three, four measure where Bonnie plays us in. And gals, I wanna hear this, okay? Let us sing. This is an eyebrow moment. People are saying, okay, some hero, what is, who is this? Nero, what are we singing about here? Um, set it up for us, set it up. Here we go, Bonnie, two, three. Talk it for me. One. This time I'm going to watch and see who it is. Yeah. <laughs> talk it, talk it, talk it. One and two. Let us see. Yeah. If you put the T on a little bit early in, instead of lettuce, okay, instead of lettuce and carrots, let us sing. Let us sing. Okay, us sing. Us sing. That we have to make sure. Let us sing. Not let us sing. Us is the word, okay? Here we go, talk it, ladies. One and two. Let us sing. That's better again. One and two. Let us sing. That's even better. Now let's sing it. Here's your intro, the three, four, and. Sorry, he was watching you, so they watch. <laughs> Look out, he's coming. Here we go. Same place, two, three. <laughs> Oh, uh, 
Oh, well, actually, let's just skip. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, so we start announcing. Well, we can sing it real fast. Okay. It's beginning to look like Christmas. I don't think we have a lot of it. Hop along boots and a pistol. I have it. <laughs> All right, Bonnie's going to give us two measures in. Let's stand up. Let's stand up and do it. Yeah. Have some fun. Yeah. It's is. It's Once more. <laughs> it's beginning to look a lot like Franklin's 
five and ten since. So the whole thing about uh, the five and ten and all of that, I just, because I grew up with that. And I love, and in fact, I think it was the Ben Franklin that had, you know, the really old five and ten stores, they'd have the kind of the big, kind of sloped shelves. You know, and they were made out of plywood or something, and they were kind of sloped, and I don't know how they kept all the stuff in. <laughs> you know, why did they all roll up? But anyway, when I get this song, I'm just right back and forth. Comes. Chris, didn't you need this? Aren't you? Don't you do the first thing after? Break? Break? Okay. Yeah. So, anyway, announcements. Um, does the social committee have anything yes. for us? Yes, they do. Again. Okay, we had a nice meeting last week, and I have gotten six people for the setup committee and six people for the cleanup committee. I'd like to remind those on the setup committee to be here at 12 o'clock. And that is that feasible, I hope? Yes. Okay, uh, 12 o'clock. Can I kind of have a show of hands uh, on who might be bringing something for us to nibble or food on? Oh, good. Lots of food. Look Yay. at that. Okay. One week from today. One week from today. So I think we're fine. Uh, just come and bring food and yes, ma'am. Um, we have crock pots. Some people are crock pots. There are electric outlets back there. Um, some people bring sweets, salty, yeah. whatever you wish, whatever your fancy is that morning, bring it so. Well, I think what they're wondering, Barbara, I think what you're wondering, if I'm like, not for, yeah. will there be plates and forks and things yes. like that? Yes. So the there committee, will. we're providing those things? Yes, we are. Good. And what about beverages? I, we'll do drinks. Yeah. Do you need somebody to bring? That BYO? Yeah. No, that would be good. Okay. Uh, we'll have cups and we'll have ice, I hope. We'll do. And so, BYO me. Yeah. Not seeing alcoholic. Well, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. If you want to bring alcoholic, bring it. No. Not allowed to in this building. <laughs> okay, so 12 o'clock for the setup committee, and the rest of you will stay with me and eat the leftovers. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I think we're set. Okay. And and it's and we're doing it and the the the, the party is after rehearsal. Oh, okay. Yes. 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 Oh. Well, what about costumes and stuff? Well, I mentioned that I mentioned that last week. Do you feel some that move? some of you would not yep. be dissuaded from wearing <laughs> costumes. So please go ahead and feel free to come as whoever you wish to be. Um, or if you prefer not to wear a costume, you still can eat. Okay. But do wear clothes. Yeah. Uh, Joey I thought we would go to In Scoop again today because it's warm and we might not have a whole lot more warm days. Um, how many things they might actually go? We haven't been having a great turnout so far. Can I get a cup of coffee there? I don't know if they have coffee. I think you can. Oh, that does not bring my water bottle. Isn't there a place right next door to there used to be? In Scoop. In Scoop. It's on Prince. Prince, S-C-O-N, yeah. I'm to the right. Okay. I had another thought, too. Because it's we don't get done until 3 o'clock, I was wondering if even once a month or every other week, we could think about doing something at 11.30 beforehand. Would anybody be interested in that? Maybe a better turnout? Show of hands. Yeah, go somewhere and have, have a lunch instead. Yeah, we might get, get a better turnout for that. So no. we would have to announce it the week ahead of time. Yeah. And then maybe send week. out an, an email. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, let us know where. Cool. Yeah. 
Good. So real fast, um, I, I have posted the weather alert procedures. Uh, you look in the corner of the main page of the website, you can click there to go to the procedures. I sent you an email with the document. And also at the bottom of the homework stuff, there's a, you can click to the link for the procedures. But basically, you will know by 11 o'clock whether we are or are not. We will make it crystal clear, no guessing. By 11 o'clock, you'll know, yes, we are having rehearsal, or no, we're not. If we decide to have rehearsal and you feel it's unsafe to travel, Stay. no harm, no foul. Stay home. That's fine. And you can, you know, watch our videos. Oops, I forgot to put this back on me. Um, well, for a change, I finally put it on the people who were talking. Um, we're not talking about concert dress yet, right, Lorraine? Not yet. Thanks, no. Okay, we'll start talking about concert dress next week. Um, and um, please remember, no scented products of any kind. And Cindy, anything else? Nope. Okay, thank you to those of you who came to the Cherry Creek Corral concert this weekend. And I, we really appreciate having you there. Okay, so 10 minutes from right now. So take a look at the clock. 10 minutes from right now. And we'll be with grown up Christmas list. I just wanted to say thank you for the card. You can have to do that. So nice. Well, I, I owed you. I owed you. Oh, you're forgiven, so we'll let it go. Well, know that, but you know what? It's. Uh, I've been reading, there's a guy that I listen to him just about every morning, his name is Darren Hardy. And he's smoking by the And um, he was talking about, not only there, but also in the course of the about the power of a written thing. Oh, yes, that, that is true. You know, a handwritten note. 